Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also, make sure to hit the bell so you are notified every single time I upload. What is wrong with my voice today? Every single time I upload, which is every Monday and Thursday. I'm also going to be hopefully doing Vlogoween. I'm trying to get some ideas together. If you have any, feel free to comment below. I did do like a channel discussion post on this and I got some great ideas from you guys. So if there's anything else um, or if maybe you didn't comment on that post, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys would love to see for Vlogoween. There's definitely going to be a lot of crafting videos. There's going to be definitely some cooking videos, both baking and I think some savory stuff I'm trying. Um, I found a really fun cookbook I'm excited to review for you guys that's Halloween oriented. So um, definitely stay tuned for that. But any ideas, leave them in the comments below. So um, I know I said last Thursday <laughs> that that would be um, my final time going Halloween decor hunting. Um, but I lied. <laughs> I forgot. I haven't gone to, there's a Home Goods TJ Maxx that, it was actually the one I got the Headless Horseman's at. Um, if you haven't seen that video, definitely feel free to watch it. I'll leave um, a link in the description as well. I have a whole Halloween decor hunting playlist. But I realized I haven't gone to that one, I don't think, since I got those, which has been well over a month. I figured you know, it's almost the end of September. This would be a great time just to go ahead and hit it one last time because honestly, I'm probably not going to be buying a ton, a lot more decor. Now it's definitely going to be more just decorating stuff and all of that. There's honestly not any more pieces I'm particularly looking for. I tried to promise my husband I will not buy any more because honestly, I've got so much this year. Like when you see me decorate, I'll show you the tubs of like the new stuff from just this year. It's kind of insane. But for me, a, a good bit of this stuff I'm actually going to be using for year-round decor. So I don't feel terrible about it. But also, I bought a lot. So <laughs> um, today is mostly just to look to show you guys what all is left. Um, I know the stores I've been to a lot lately. It's been like a small little section of Halloween and then Christmas. Christmas is already taking over. We've not even hit October. I don't know how to take it. Let's just see what this one is. Since this has been like the best location, the one we're going to today has been like the best location out of all, all season. I'm curious to see where they are on the situation of, of Christmas. Oh, I am actually looking for a blanket. Um, <laughs> I don't have enough Halloween blankets, but um, I want a blanket for my bed. And because I have a beautiful like moss green velvet comforter that I got from Target this year love it so much and I like to have blankets at the end of the bed just because I'm that kind of person that like tends to like to sleep just under a blanket sometimes I get I don't know I'm weird with temperatures <laughs> I wanted a new blanket to put at the end of the bed and there's one that I've seen at Ross well I've not seen it Ross but I've seen advertised that people have found it at Ross that's like black with like metallic gold death moss which that would just be Perfection. I would love to find that, but I've not seen any Halloween at any Ross I've been to, except for those skull statues I um, had gotten for Claire. I don't know, I'm gonna keep an eye out. Honestly, if you they just have a really pretty, like, chunky black um, blanket, that would be cool too. Just something really soft, and because my cats love the cozy blankets too, and I know they would love to knead into something. So, I mean, we'll just see. I have also seen people um, find, there's one that's like black with white, kind of like damask design, damask, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm not fancy. And it's got like bats on it, but it's like very like lacy looking, even though it's just printed onto it. So I don't know, I'm keeping an eye out for that one, but I don't know, we'll see what we find. I'm excited. It is a Saturday morning, which I never go out on, but I'm trying to go early. So I'm hoping um, I'll, you know, miss some of the crowd at least, but not so early. Like I, it's, I think the stores at this point almost already open. So hopefully I'll miss 
and you have like the scalpers needing to get in and do their craziness I just want to go in and kind of shop in peace so we'll see what we can find oh my gosh this has been like the longest intro ever been jabbing away jabbity jab oh my gosh get over to you pay attention the way you're going um oh yeah also Oliver's here he kind of said oh my gosh Oliver your bones and your your bones brains is showing your brains Hello my fronds. Also, mother, you are a terrible driver. Ha ha ha. Can you see him? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is chaotic. I haven't done this in a while, so obviously I'm terribly out of practice. I'm sorry if I look a little rough. It's been a very long way. I've had a lot of doctor's appointments, so I'm just... I didn't have the energy to put on makeup today. Also, it's supposed to start raining in like 30 minutes, and I didn't want to like sweat and rain through makeup today, so... Um, and I'm only going to two stores, so I just didn't, didn't feel like it. So please disregard that and just enjoy my beautiful undone pale face, undone unmakeup. I, you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? All right, done jabbering. I will see you at Home Goods. <laughs> okay, friends. Um, so actually, there is a another Home Goods TJ Maxx. Marshall's kind of a, a deal that was on the way so uh, I decided I would stop there first because I really do want to look for this blanket so um let's go in fingers crossed it doesn't rain on us while we are in there I do have an umbrella this time I prepared so all right let's go <laughs> okay so the first home goods we went into um we start off they also you know had a lot of stuff to sit around so i was super intrigued by these stacked pumpkins there's a matte black one and also down below we'll see like a shinier orange one but for 80 dollars, i mean because it's not terrible it's a massive piece it's a lot of money but it's a massive piece <laughs> so if it's something you're looking for i've not seen anything quite like that this year um, and then they, again, there's a lot of ceramics, um, different jack-o'-lanterns, the one with the witch hat. We'll see that, I think, a couple times today. It's more like little, the wreaths. And then I will say there's just so much dishware. So a lot of mugs, um, different just tumblers, cups. There's that skull canister we've seen in the past. I think that's kind of the theme of what seems to be left is a lot of either dishware or towels. So, um, yeah, we'll just kind of keep seeing some stuff. All the dog toys, those are super cute. They did have um, those wire stacked pumpkins were really interesting. And the little bat on the pumpkin over there. There's more like the candy and the different um, like snacks and stuff we saw last time we visited. Um so yeah. Oh, and here's this dish where I really like the matte black with the skulls. I thought those were really pretty. They had two different sizes um, and some a lot of gnome platters for sure. Uh, here's more of our hand towels. I liked this tree one. You couldn't see it too well. I think I show you another option of it, but it's got like this white spider webbing on it. That I'm pretty sure probably glows in the dark. I kind of thought that was a, a fun design. I've not seen that one yet this year spooky tree and then there's these vintage hand towels that match um the blanket i've seen before with the exact same design so it's kind of fun to see that carried over especially if that is a design you really enjoy you can kind of help match your stuff throughout the rooms um blankets this was literally all they had left there was like five i think halloween blankets um not the one i was looking for unfortunately but at least there's a few left if, if that's something you're still looking for and a few pillows nothing i guess super different i feel like we've seen all these kind of before we did see this one kind of damaged looking one before and i wanted to show it closer up today but yeah that was kind of um what they had at home goods then i went up to uh, tj maxx and they had the gnomes um again there's a lot of ceramics that kind of stuff to sit around at this one nothing there's that pumpkin we saw last time with the eek super cute skeleton bowl and then a lot of tumblers gnomes football gnome <laughs> um all of our disney greeters more of the skeleton bowl these rolling pens were actually really cute if you're in need of one i like the halloween platter that was fun as well 
And these plates, I think these are probably one of my favorite things I saw at this location. Um, these, I believe, actually were from last year. I do remember these designs, so I wonder if it's something they just happened to have found in the back stock and put it out. They were super cute. I didn't grab them, but I really do like those designs. They're, they're more, definitely more of the uh, creepy cute, but not, you know, actual scary. So something for everybody. This Hocus Pocus platter was really cool. It does spin and has the little containers I can't exactly remember how much it was, but it was a fun, like, little piece. And then the two little platters. The cats is kind of more of a vintage-looking style. I think that one was $9.99, which wasn't bad for, for two platters. And then I show you the um, matte black shelf because I always have to stop by this little end cap. It's definitely dwindling down, so people are buying stuff. And then this one last little table. It's got the witch in the carriage, the big hats, and then there's... Um, like this black, I don't know, farm truck <laughs> kind of thing. Okay, friends, so they had that small section. Um, it was still way better stock than I expected, but there was literally like, you saw that small section of like six blankets. It was so sad. Man, it makes me sad for people that like don't start doing their Halloween like decor hunting until like mid to late September, like essentially like right now. Because then they're out there like, why is there no stuff? It's like, well, there was earlier, but it's been gone since August. <laughs> um, which, hey, I, I mean, I suppose I'm part of the problem in that. But, you know. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and go to the the good, hopefully the good um, Home Goods TJ Maxx and see. Maybe they'll give us just a little bit more joy. We just need that last bit of joy. It's not even October yet, y'all. <sighs> All right. Let's go. So we walk into the other home goods. They also had the little stack jack o' lantern. So maybe it's just something just not coming to our area. That wine glass was beautiful. The stem on it, the detail of the skulls on it was really, really pretty. A little Ouija platter right there. Um, and this one actually has like a decent full aisle. I will say majority of this aisle you will see is all like wine tumblers or mugs or coffee cups. Um, so... I mean, if that's something you were in need of, it's out there. <laughs> There's so much of it, especially a lot of these stacked ones. So definitely keep an eye out if it's something you're still needing. But I tried to show a different variety of them. Um, I feel like a lot of them we've seen before. But um, again, if you haven't gotten them yet, here's your chance. <laughs> um, one thing I'll show is... Um, oh, okay. First, Mr. Skeleton Wine Glass. Shout out, Jay the Lieber fans. <laughs> um, they had a gold skull right there. Skeleton. I did like this little glass skeleton head thing. And then the stopper was also a skeleton head. I don't... Maybe you put oil in it? I'm not super sure. But it was a fun little piece. I'd not seen that before. But this older witch lady statue is beautiful. I'd actually already found her earlier this year. Um, so I was really happy to get to show you guys her because um she's adorable i love her there's more of those matte black with gold skeleton plates and a lot of canisters cups mugs um did I have some more hand towels i liked these with the spider webs it was actually like a metallic silver um like foiled kind of spider web which was pretty i've not seen any like foiled kind of <laughs> towels i guess and then I really did like, you'll see it, there's these skulls that are made up of little like black orange. Yeah, this towel, um, I did get this because I feel like you can never have enough kitchen towels. And they were, it was just so pretty. Really, really cute. Um, pillow with skull with a mask on it. <laughs> um, but there was not a ton left after this little aisle. A couple, I did like this um, jack-o'-lantern head, or I guess just jack-o'-lantern soap dispenser. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. It was a pretty heavy piece and it was very well made. So um, I feel like that would really work if you're looking for something for Halloween or if you do like a Halloween year-round kind of bathroom. I think that would be a super cute piece for it. Because it doesn't specifically say Halloween. It's just a jack-o'-lantern, you know? <laughs> um, here's all the pillows. And then I went over to TJ Maxx, another little witch lady. I love her as well. 
Tombstone. They had a couple tables at this location, so I kind of show you um, the variety that they have. Again, more all of their gnomes. This dog from last week's video is still haunting me. Um, again, more stacked cups. A lot of bakeware at this location. So as far as like uh, baking sheets, mixing bowls, that kind of thing. They did have these spooky cat mugs. I really liked it, but I, I realized I have so many mugs. I don't need any more. And I really, even though it's a cat one, I love it, but I just don't need any more. And I'm trying to show some restraint. <laughs> um, our gnomes again. And then I, these purple stacked skeletons. Um, their skulls were super, super different. I've not seen anything quite like that. So I feel like if you're doing like a pastel goth vibe, that would be a fun year round piece because I've not seen anything like that at all this year. More of our mugs, more pastel goth kind of skulls and the dog. The dog is still here. <laughs> One day I'm going to get it on clearance or something because it's just, it's obviously telling me I need it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this little mug with the snow globe. That was fun, but that would be so hard to store, even though it is beautiful. And then, yeah, just other, I don't know, other things that, oh, yes, okay. This winged skeleton, I don't know about that. That's weird, but okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, friends, so hopefully the audio is not too bad on this. Um, you saw we went to Hunga's TJ Maxx, and... They had, they have more than probably in the other locations, but definitely compared to what they did have is not as much. So I mean, I'm glad I went and saw it one last time. <laughs> and I also went to Five Below and filmed my video because it was kind of crowded, but I did take some pictures. So I'll put some stuff here. They had a bunch of different yard stakes. There were some um, also t-shirts, um, different other decorations. They also had some like pinwheels for your yard. Um, I may have gotten a few uh, of those, so I just went to Ross and they had the blanket I've been looking for, not the one with the gold, but the um, white and black one I told you that looks kind of like a bat and it's like damask design, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's the right word, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I found it. Um, there's a TJ Maxx right here, so I feel like I'll go to this one last thing and then we'll finish up for the day, but oh my gosh, the luck we have had luck today and I'm so very excited about it so yay thank you for joining me with this all right one last store let's go all right my friends so it's the final store for the year this is kind of bittersweet so um here we go <laughs> so they had their skeletons again there's no ton at this particular location but I did want to show you um just so you can get an idea of kind of what's out there um the cups different little things to sit around a little tabletop signs they did have another spooky mug some real creepy ghosts back there I really did like this little wicked cat um thing I thought it was a mug but it was a canister and I didn't really have a specific use for it so I didn't grab it but I thought it was cute there's our our jack lantern with the witch hat again and then yeah there's a lot of paper goods so different napkins um cups that kind of thing more mugs, and then it's a lot of fall decorations as well. Um, a few little witchy ladies left. They did have the skeleton, the frame skeleton head, which I thought was kind of cool. It reminds me of something from Michael's. Another one of our angel skeletons. <laughs> um, some more mugs. These are like kind of like a vintage style of the cats. There's two different designs. There's that one. And then there's another one where it's like the cats <laughs> with different costumes on, which was so cute. And it, was, it took all my strength not to grab this one because it was absolutely adorable. And you know, I'm a cat lady, so, <sighs> but I didn't get it. I felt I was very proud of myself. <laughs> um, more of our platters with gnomes. Um, there's this cake stand with a ghost. I think we've seen it before, but I tried to get the best angle of it. It was kind of low down and you know my joints aren't the best, so it was awkward, <laughs> but. Okay, everyone, so you can see, I mean, they had some stuff. There's a couple different, like, little tables and stuff. Well, I guess I could take my mask off from outside. Um, oh. Yeah, like, so there was, there was some stuff, but nothing, like, super special. 
Um, I will say I didn't get a video of it because it was at the very, very end, but I'll show a picture um, of the, the Halloween slides. I've seen people talking about them on the Halloween Facebook group, but um, I hadn't actually seen them in person at any location, so they're super cute. It says they glow in the dark, which if, I, if you've heard my story about glow in the dark, I wore glow in the dark pajamas one time and um, woke up in the middle of the night, saw it in scared the crap out of myself so <laughs> but these are glow in the dark shoes I'm not gonna be sleeping in them obviously so but I think they're cute even if they don't glow in the dark um, I really like all the little jack-o'-lanterns so hopefully it's not too windy I just felt like I would finish everything up while I'm walking back to my car so yeah I hope everyone enjoyed the video let me know your favorite thing definitely comment below give me a big thumbs up and oh next to come we have I think the, you saw the target haul on Monday um, next, all the decorating videos, all the vlogoween. Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of the word. So yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about all those again. If you have any suggestions, leave them down below. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're doing wonderful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!